Yeah, it always takes a little bit of a leg work, so it's best if you've got your list ready to go. And remember, if you missed those Black Friday deals, then we've got Cyber Monday happening tomorrow, and I think that's how a lot of people are shopping these days anyway, is online. In the meantime, try to put the phone down from scrolling. Step outside at some point today because it's going to be another nice one. It's just going to be more overcast than yesterday. So if you're headed to the Cardinals game this afternoon, know that we will make our way into the 70s this afternoon, but we are going to see that cloud cover. We'll be staying dry though, so no worries. That roof will be open and you can enjoy the temperatures that way as well. Right now though, you are going to need some layers if you're planning to get your workout in early. Take that walk around the block. Even if you're just stepping out to let the dog out, you'll want to keep that thicker robe on. We've dipped now into the upper 30s in more cities like Buckeye, Goodyear, both sitting at 37 degrees this morning. We've got crystal clear skies out there for now before that cloud cover moves in. So that allowed our temperatures to plummet in the overnight hours. Now, as we move through the afternoon, it's going to be another gradual warm up, very similar to yesterday. Our sun will rise this morning at 709. And then after that temperature dip in the eight o'clock hour, we'll rebound into the 50s here in the valley. We're going to hold off the 60s, though, until about 11 this morning, so that by noon we're in the mid 60s and then we're climbing into the 70s and into the low 70s at that 72 is our forecast high and we'll peak right around four o'clock this afternoon. Then the sun sets at 520 and we start going the opposite direction pretty rapidly. Now tomorrow morning is not going to be as cold as it is this morning. It'll be chilly but a little more mild thanks to that cloud cover that will move in. So overnight lows will go back into the 50s tomorrow as we rise to that high today of 72 in Scottsdale, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, Tempe. It'll be 71 in Paradise Valley, staying in the mid 60s in Carefree and Cave Creek, though. Over in the West Valley, more 60s for Wickenburg and Anthem, but we'll hit the low 70s in Peoria, Glendale, Levine, Avondale, Goodyear, and Luke Air Force Base, topping out at 71, 72 degrees. Across the rest of the state, more 70s to to our south, out to our west, Yuma's looking to hit 70 again, but we're going to stay in the upper 60s in Quartzsite, mid 60s for Lake Havasu City, and getting a little bit cooler up in Bullhead City with a high of 62 degrees. Central portion of the state, we're staying dry in Prescott, Payson, and Sedona as well today, but you'll be in the low 50s, so it's still going to be a chilly day, and colder still along the rim today, as we're in the low 40s from the Grand Canyon through Sholo and up into Window Rock this afternoon. Now, if you are traveling across the rest of the country, know that you are going to encounter some snow and some rain in the Great Lakes area. Chicago's getting some snow. They're going to be in the low 30s today for their forecast highs. We're drying out uh, through states like Kansas and also Oklahoma. You'll be in the 30s and 40s. And across the southern half of the United States, we're in the 50s and 60s with some wind and gusty conditions in Dallas, but at least dry travel conditions because this storm system has continued to push to the east and it will continue moving that way, keeping us dry in the state as we head through the middle of the week and then on Wednesday night is when our next system starts to creep in bringing snow to the high country. We're most likely to start seeing rain here in the valley late Thursday and into Friday and right now it looks like this will move on through Saturday morning so that by Saturday evening hopefully will be dry because of course it's the APS electric light parade happening on Saturday evening. It's a washout last year so hopefully not the same so fingers crossed that's how it's shaping up right now. So here's what it looks like 70s for the week until that storm system moves in, then we're back in the upper 60s here in the valley, Jamie.